This is the Empire Sports. Here's my scouting report on Bernard Motley as an Oklahoma Sooners fan. Four-year starter at Oklahoma. The last two years, he had an outstanding year. Very aggressive tackler. Could have been draftable, but he wasn't invited at the Combine. Besides Kenneth Murray and Neville Gallimore being the stars of that defense, he wasn't quite talked about as the heart and soul of that defense. He was a, a leader of that defense. I mean, people would say, oh, Kenneth Murray was the fucking beast. Yeah, he was. But nobody talked about Pernar Motley. He was the more forgotten guy for the Sooners defense. I mean, the first two years he had a rough year. They were picking on him. The last two years, he started playing aggressive. They started throwing different directions. I mean, Pernar Motley started to come into his own. I mean, the defense wasn't quite good in the Big 12 because they always get the big yards and give up the most points. And I guess him not getting invited to the combine kind of hurt his draft stock. He could have been a, what you call, a third to a fifth round draft pick. He could have been a third, third round or a fifth round pick, you know, based by his talent. That would have been solid for him. So going undrafted, going to the Buccaneers as an undrafted free agent, and then making the roster as the last last cornerback on the depth chart, barely play any snaps on special teams, but didn't even play defensive snaps. He had some practices against Tom Brady where he picked up some interceptions, like two or three interceptions. He stood out in training camp for the Buccaneers, and it was hard for them to cut him. But I guess the reason why he was let go was because they needed that linebacker help. So they promoted the guy off the practice squad. And they let go Motley because they felt like their cornerback depth was pretty stacked. So the, the ceiling for this guy is he got undrafted. He didn't get invited to the combine. That would piss you off, right? We got nothing to lose with this kid. I mean, I like this kind of situation. I actually wanted this guy to go to the 49ers. I said, you know, we need to draft this kid. Pernar Motley is a fucking solid cornerback. He would fit well. He'd probably be our best capable starter down the road, you know? But then I realized, man, he got he went undrafted. We should sign him. Nope, we didn't even sign the guy. So the Buccaneers picked him up. And then, like, a few weeks through, throughout the season, we eventually claim him off waivers. And I'm kind of smiling like, damn, we got this guy? Hell yeah, I like this, man. I like this. This, guy, this guy's this guy got heart. He's a dog. I'm going to tell you like right now, he he plays kind of like an Emmanuel Mosley. They're, they both got something to prove. They have a dog in them. But I don't know if he's going to play. But if they're thin at cornerback, I'm pretty sure they're going to throw this kid out there. Because he, they need to have cornerback help. So with with uh, Pernar Motley, man, this is kind of like a this is kind of like a risk, but I think he might pan out. You just have to give him a chance. He can't be any worse than Brian Allen and Dante Johnson and Elkala Witherspoon. He can't be worse than those three cornerbacks, you know. He's got to be a little better than them, a little bit better, you know. Give him time; he'll develop in a couple years, just like Mosley. I think it took Mosley like up to a year or two to be a starter. Motley can be a starter down the road, maybe like next year or two. But if you give this kid a chance to shine, I think he'd be a steal. He'd be like a, a like a gem right there. But even though he wasn't drafted, he could have been a third to a fifth round pick. He was a third or fifth round prospect. I mean, he had the talent, but he just wasn't invited to the combine. So that kind of hurt his draft stock right there. So... I think with this with this opportunity for him to shine, I don't think he's going to let it go. I think he's going to make the most out of it. So, Pernar Motley's got to be a hungry player. He's going to realize, like, hey, the 49ers picked me up at a good time. I want to prove it to the NFL that I belong here. So, this guy's going to prove it. So, I, I got confidence. This kid's going to ball out. And if he balls out, I want this kid to stick around. So, go Niners, go Sooners, and hell yeah, we got this.